Hello everyone, this is Gary. This is my coping with schizophrenia entry for today. My update, it is um, August 2nd, 2019, Friday, 11.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. Um, yesterday I had a crisis. I did not go to the psychiatric emergency room. Instead, I was able to set up an appointment with my psychiatrist, and we changed my medications. If I seem a little bit tired, it's because the new medications have a tendency to make me tired. But I definitely feel better than I did yesterday or the previous three or four days before that. It's been kind of a nightmare. Uh, paranoia and delusions and hallucinations and anxiety and fear all running pretty strong. I hadn't slept it until last night for about three or four days. Um, the doctor put me on a small dosage, a very small dosage of clonopin to help calm me down. I'm allowed one pill per week because clonopin is addictive and too much of it can cause a habit, an addiction. And so me and my doctor agreed that while clonopin is useful in keeping me out of the psychiatric emergency room, it's not something that I'm going to take every day and actually no more than once a week um, to prevent myself from going to the psychiatric emergency room constantly. Because that's a waste of police time, the ambulance, which costs me money, um, ambulance trips are not cheap. If I go to the psychiatric emergency room, my Medicare insurance only pays part of the bill. I have racked up a three thousand dollar five hundred uh three thousand five hundred dollar uh medical bill that I owe Strong Memorial Hospital here in Rochester, New York for various things. Um from my electroshock therapy to my medications to um <coughs> sorry. Um I racked up a large bill um, from when I was inpatient and I had electroshock therapy. My Medicare only covered part of it. Um, my visits to my outpatient clinic, um, again, Medicare only covers part of that. So out of all the bills that I've accumulated, it's about $3,500. And the hospital has a special fund to help people pay off the part of the medical bills that they can't pay off themselves. And then insurance didn't cover. So I'm going to apply for that financial aid to try to get my balance down to zero. Because um, I don't like the feeling of being $3,500 in debt for medical care that I can't stop. Um, so I'll be applying for financial aid. But I'm doing better today. A little bit tired. But that's better than what I felt yesterday. My hands were shaking very badly. I had a tremor in my right hand. Um, I couldn't stop pacing. Didn't get any sleep. Um, and all that seems to have stopped for now. So I'm doing the best I can. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions or comments, like, share, hit the notifications button, subscribe, leave comments. That's all for now.